Hello everyone, welcome back to Caitlin's Chaos. My name is Caitlin, and this is the channel where I post whatever the f I want. And today I'm gonna be doing a little bit of a story time, but like a casual story time. I'm gonna be eating Oreos and milk because I'm 22 years old and that just makes sense. So, I have my Oreos and I have my almond milk and I'm just gonna talk about a little experience I had today, door dashing. This is gonna be a super short video, but like I just needed to like, share that experience with somebody and if you hear jingling that's my cat i'll make a video about him soon but yeah so one of the jobs that i have i have a few is being a door dasher and this is the job that i usually work like in between jobs if that makes sense like i i was a door dasher in the summer because my job at school ended and if i need a little bit of extra money sometimes i door dash but yeah so today i had to drive louder <sighs> but yeah so today I had an order that I had to deliver into an apartment building and it was one of those apartment buildings where I actually have to go inside and like drop it outside the door because the doors are located on the interior so I pull up to the location and then there's a lady and this guy like trying to fix a lock on a door with my mask on Neither of the people at the door were wearing masks. So with my mask on, I stand behind them waiting for them to fix it because I need to enter the building. So they quickly fix it and then leave. And then um, who I assume to be the landlord walks in the building and asks what I need. And I said, oh, I'm just here to deliver a DoorDash. Um, and she said, okay, what? She asked me what the room number was. And I said, the room number. I don't want to say the actual room number. I don't know. It feels kind of weird, but like, we'll just say it was a building where the first floor was like 100 numbers on the doors, second floor was like 200s, and third floor 300s, etc. So I tell her that I have a floor, I have a 100 number, and she tells me to go to the third floor. And then at first, because I didn't know that the building worked this way yet, I was just like, oh, maybe this building's just reversed. So I go to the top and do that. And then I realized I got sent in the wrong direction, which was weird. And then when I was coming down the stairs, I run into her again and she's like, and keep in mind, she's not wearing a mask and she's talking to me. I'm still wearing a mask. And she just starts talking at me and she's just like, I'm sorry, I'm not wearing a mask. I left it at my house. They're all in the wash. And I was, and I, I really have no tolerance for people who don't wear masks at this point. Like, unless you have a legit reason why you can't wear one like a medical thing you know if you're somebody who that applies to you know who you are i'm not talking about you because you're doing it for a legitimate need i'm talking about people who wear masks for no reason because they're stupid but anyway this lady's like yeah they're all in the wash and i was like it's okay and i just like i'm like it's okay and i walk away because i have no tolerance for that behavior and i don't want to be near somebody who's not wearing a mask that i don't know at this point and then so yeah i come back from the correct floor and she's surprised that i'm there and she was like oh did you find the right floor and i was like yeah and i was like and i just kind of walked away and, and then she started this is like confusing to me as i'm leaving she starts talking about masks again and i assume she's like nervous that i'll say something to someone about it i don't know but she starts talking about like reusable masks hang on let me get one so at this point i'm wearing a black fabric target mask and she starts talking about these masks the reusable ones so yeah she starts talking about these reusable masks and she starts just saying nonsense and she was definitely like some sort of in charge at the building you know like I, the way that she you know, like she had keys and she obviously like was connected to the building in some way like but then she st just starts talking about how you can't put reusable masks in the washer or dryer or no she starts talking about how you can't put uh like one use only masks or like a one however long you're supposed to wear these use only masks in the washer and dryer which is like like well no she it. That's what these are for. So she starts, she keeps talking about that over and over and over again. And I, I, I literally just like walk out. I don't say anything. Cause at that point I'm just like, did I just like walk into like some sort of alternate universe? Because just like the way that everything about that building was creepy. And then that experience was just weird. Who knows? Just as a reminder, everybody, please continue to wear a mask. We are still in a pandemic if you don't wear a mask and ignore the fact that we're in a pandemic that doesn't make the pandemic go away the people who are taking the pandemic but i'm gonna stop doing that every yeah anyway i hope you enjoyed this video um please be sure to hit that like button down below subscribe to my channel if you haven't already thank you for watching i hope you have a wonderful day bye